Today we'll be talking about the Batman. And yeah. The Batman is a movie. It seems to be doing. Vegas wise it seems to be doing okay. You know. Much better than other superhero offerings. Not as good as of course Spider-Man or Sing C. But. It's doing better than Venom. Vegas wise It's doing better than those movies. It's doing better than Venom. Vegas wise Black Widow. It's doing better than Eternals. With the Eternals had abysmal wigs. Wigs. But in terms of wigs, right, again, superhero movies are not really known for the wigs. You know, so they used to because they used to be not, because again, because then back in the day when Dark Knight and Superman Man 2, there weren't really many superhero movies coming out. You had a Spider Man movie every couple of years, a Batman movie every couple of years, and that was it. You had, of course, you had the X Men. You had, of course, which was the only other series that was really, you know, ongoing for a while. Okay. And, of course, Marvel started to come around in 2008 and saying everything. And now superhero movies are a big thing. The movie is probably going to make back its money. It needs to make $400 million. Which it could probably easily make back that $400 million by the end of this weekend. Okay. The other movie that is coming out is Unsorted. No, that is doing, it might be, is doing well. Will probably do well this week is Unsorted because there's no other movies coming out. Because, of course, turning red, turn tail to Disney Plus. Which, again, for people who go, which, again, there are, there are, since the pandemic, there are two types of people. There are feeder goers and non-feeder goers, okay? I'm not a feeder goer. I don't, I bear, I rarely ever go to the movie feeders. Because they're expensive. That's simple as that. Movie feeders are very expensive now, okay? You know, you, you know, let's get, you know, when a Blu-ray comes out, it's like $20, $30 if you get the 4K premium edition. But, you know, $25 for a Blu-ray. If you're going with like two people and getting the popcorn and everything, it's more expensive than just getting a movie on Blu-ray. If you already have a Blu-ray player. Again, you have to have buy a Blu-ray player, which again, it's not very cheap, but it's, you know... You don't have to go, and of course, you have to not. Really, you also have to not forget. There's also you have to pay gas prices, you know, because of course the president of America is so incompetent, and you know, t- cutting down, you know, our energy, but you know, gain trying to get energy from Iran and Venezuela, but not our energy. And of course, you have to pay for. You're most likely gonna buy popcorn as well, and yeah, sometimes some people do. Like, oh yeah, feels like oh, but the. Like, here. Like, oh, but I live in a city, so I can just walk to the feeder or something like that. But not everybody lives in a fucking city, okay? I wish people would realize that. Not everybody lives in the city. Some people live in, like, the middle of nowhere. We're the nearest... Well, you have to go... We have to travel, like, an hour to get to a feeder, okay? It's just a waste of time to travel an hour to get to a feeder. Like, like an actual good feeder. Not like, you know, those crappy feeders where they have, like, one movie and that's it. Or, you know, they, they are some, like, old movies. They, or, you know, they saw, like, one or two movies and that's it. Okay. You know. And then even then, they're going to raise the prices again on the feeders. Because for blockbusters. So, you have to pay more now for blockbusters. So, this is why movies are now making more money. It's by selling less tickets. Because tickets are more expensive than they usually are. But, yeah, Uncharted is, was the first movie. Along with the Batman to pass $100 million domestically. You know, it is, it is going to make money. Which, again, it's something that Warren Tomatoes does not like. Because Warren Tomatoes doesn't like to be proven wrong. Uh, Warren Tomatoes does not like to be proven wrong. And, you know, that's basically about Uncharted. So, Uncharted, $277 million worldwide. I think it'll probably pass $300 million, You know. And for a video game movie, it has been really successful. I think it's one of the most successful video game movies of all time. Which, you know, that is a still a very low bar to go over. Okay. And of course, they have another one coming out next month, Sonic 2. But yeah, video game movies have gotten better. You had the World Combat movie, that was pretty good. You know, you had Sonic, Pikachu, Rampage, like an Angry. I like both of the Angry Birds movies. These, I know some people hate them and like despise the Angry Birds movies, but you know, I liked them. They were good, entertaining movies, you know, especially if you liked, especially 
we you know if you like a if you like playing the Angry Bird games, but you know Angry Bird movies were very fun and entertaining movies, and that uh, the critics didn't like them because of course you know yeah you can't have any movies out for entertainment. They have to have a bunch of kissing scenes, a bunch of city romance scenes that you know no people not me no one wants to watch those types of movies, okay. Which is the movies that want to be able to promote, okay? The types of movies, oh, or, 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 you know, movies, but, you know, about, oh, more racism or something like that, okay? But with a movie that's, like, good entertainment, you know, the critics, of course, give an average score lower. Which will, which, you know, will make movies do worse at the box office because, you know, because back in the day, people actually believed the critics. But, you know, the critics have not changed. And I don't think they're going to change in 30 or 40 years, okay? You know, they expect every movie to have this deep message. Nobody wants deep message in every movie, okay? People just want to have a big, epic movie. And sometimes those movies do get good scores. Like, Endgame got good scores, but that's only because by, because it was made by, Mar- because it was a Marvel movie. And, and yeah, some video game movies are really bad. Oh, uh, you got the, the Tomb Raider. Oh, uh, that one was bad. Assassin's Creed. You know, that one was really bad. I haven't seen Need for Speed, but not every video game movie is good. The old, the second Mortal Kombat movie was pretty bad. It was called like the old Mortal Kombat movie. Actually, the old Mortal Kombat movie was like a '90s cheesy movie. I haven't seen the second one. There's a second Mortal Kombat movie. It was called Annihilation. I haven't seen that one yet. I have it, but I haven't seen it. It's considered like one of the worst video game movies of all time. Time. Battleship. Battleship is a video game movie? Battleship is based off a board game, not a video game. Why would you say, why are we, why are we counting Luigi and Battleship as video game movies? Okay. They're based off board games. Okay. Oh, this is based off game overall. But yeah. The movie I'm really scared of is Mario because it's being made by Illumination. That's the one I'm really, really scared of. Because Illumination's making it. And yeah, I know people say, but Illumination's amazing. Some people will say it, but a lot of people agree that Illumination's not a good company. Illumination puts out cheap garbage that, you know, little kids will enjoy. Okay, that's what Illumination makes. You know... If they make a, like, a pet free, I know they're making Despicable Me 4, like, really? They're, they're milking their minions of Despicable Me to death, but, you know. And they're probably going to continue milking Despicable Me and minions as well. Even more than, you know, Blue Sky mil- milked the Ice Age franchise. Size. Because I believe, yeah, there's six, there's five Ice Age movies. Okay. As screwing Buck Wild. As screwing Buck Wild. They were made by Blue Sky. Okay, there are three Despicable Me movies. Two more coming out, which includes three, four, three Despicable Me movies and a Minions movie. And two more coming out because, of course, the Minions, the Rise of Gru includes Gru, so we can, tell, we'll, we can we'll count that. And Despicable Me 4, which is a continuation of Despicable Me 3. Okay, and Despicable Me 3 was, um, was like, not good. Okay. That not that good. The first one was actually good. The first two were actually oh good or decent. Minions was a movie that aged poorly. I used to like it, but when I grew up, I realized yeah, Minions sucks. The movie's garbage. I probably never. I if I uh, if I ever have any kids, I'll probably be forced to watch Minions again. You know, if they like it, which will be you know <laughs> a torture. I, I know, but if I have kids, I have to teach them the difference between a good and a bad movie. Okay, of course I'm not. They're not gonna. I'm not gonna like. Well, of course they're not gonna like, have, like every movie I like. But you know, yeah. But yeah, the box office. Yeah, dog is doing well. Uh, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man's still doing pretty well in the feeders. Spider-Man is still doing well in the feeders. (laughs) 
That's basically about this video. Goodbye.